Hi, welcome to my studio. So, I'm Mike Sass, and uh, we're going to, in this video, do a couple demos for you. My background is as a gaming illustrator. So, I worked at Bioware for 12 years as the principal marketing artist. My job there was to do all the box art, magazine covers, web graphics, logos. I did a bunch of in-game art, animation. So, um, I have a long experience uh, in the video game industry. But my, uh, my passion all along was to do oil painting. So when I left Bioware in 2008, I started upon the path to be a freelance illustrator and transition from being a computer game digital illustrator to being an oil painter. I always had a lot of passion for doing oil paintings and took a lot of workshops and studied on my own. And uh, since about 2011, I've been doing oil painting about 50% of my illustrations. Um, as a professional, Doing it 100% of the time is not too realistic um, with the volume of work and the sort of quality expectations. The reason why I like doing oil painting is you get that physical, tactile artifact and uh, uh, you have the ability as a freelance illustrator to sort of expand each job into something larger than a resulting JPEG or digital file. So um, if I'm given an assignment by a client and I do a large painting, I then have that painting that I can sell. So I'm getting essentially two fees for each job. Um, and the paintings can be much more valuable than the original commission fee. So doing traditional painting is allowing me uh, more flexibility with how long I take on each thing, how many jobs I accept. But it also gives me the ability to have something to teach to people, to create videos like this. It allows me to branch off into different things like gallery shows, uh, portrait painting, still life painting, fine art. Doing uh, like actual tactile oil paintings um, is, is a nice break from the computer and it's something, uh, you know, as I get older and more advanced in my career, um, I'm going to want to do uh, closer to full time. All right, so the main part of this demo video is going to be this large Lord of the Rings painting that I've prepared. It's of the Eowyn and the Nazgul scene from the end of The Lord of the Rings. So this painting's been sitting on my studio floor for two years. I prepared it a long time ago. It's just been too big to get to, but now is the perfect opportunity. I've got uh, a couple weeks here that I can tackle this and get it done. Um, there's at least 20 some odd figures in this painting. Um, it took me a long time to draw it all, get all the reference, get all the costuming put it all together into a cognizant scene. So um, I've already done a bunch of the prep work for this, as you can see. I've got the painting planned out, traced down onto the board. And this is sort of the first stage of the underpainting where I've gone over the lines. This has been a significant amount of work to get to this point, And we've already got it on the board. So um, in order to go back a couple steps, I'm gonna do a small demo first to understand how we draw things out, how it gets to the board, um, and to bring us up to speed to this point. So uh, the first part of the video, I just drew a funny little orc guy riding a boar. Um, this is different than this in the sense that um, the large Lord of the Rings painting utilizes lots of photographic reference, lots of you know research for costuming and whatnot. Whereas this is something kind of fun and fast. I didn't use any reference. It's something I just drew from my head. Um, so uh, the finish of this is going to be more cartoony. The finish of this is going to be more realistic. And I hope you'll sort of understand that the process I use can be taken into the realms of fine art and what's called imaginative realism painting or into gaming illustration, concept art, and things that are more commercial in nature. This one will do a color scheme that is a little more vibrant, a little more along the lines of the work I do for Blizzard. And this one will be more of a fine art fantasy painting. And uh, the resulting sort of techniques I'll use, I'll go a little more commercial feeling in this and a little more um, fine art painting, slightly looser in my paint application for this. 